Hi guys, it's March once again and welcome back to Will and March's channel. In today's video, I wanted to share to you the new kitchen appliances that we got. It's the new Caloric 7-in-1 oven. I said 7-in-1 because it can broil, bake, roast, air fry, and even make your pizza. I got it today, I already unboxed it, and I'm very excited to use it. And according to the instruction, you're supposed to turn it on, and it's kind of like priming it, and heating it up at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. So now let's get into cooking. So I already have a ready-made, or not ready-made, a sliced up pork belly and I wanted to use it for the first time so it's already primed and usually on our Ninja air fryer I will heat it up or preheat it at five minutes at 390 degrees but this one I didn't think I need to do that and the reason why we got this is we've been using our Ninja air fryer on air frying our pork belly but we have to do it a couple of times because of the space. So we decided to buy the caloric. I believe it's 26 quart is what we got. And we got this in a BJ's. And it came with uh, three different racks, which I have my cheat sheet here. So it came with the crumb tray, which is already inside of my air fryer. It came with the air frying basket, <laughs> the handle, the baking pan or the baking tray and then it also hang on i don't know what i'm doing and it also came with the air air rack it is good that it came with all of this addition so i don't have to buy it and it also came with menus that you know how you will use your air fryer and then re recipe book and also a manual so I am very excited. So let's go ahead and get started. I am not gonna preheat it. I will just go ahead and put this on the, the air frying basket and salt it and let's see how it goes. I will go ahead and put the baking tray inside. And I believe according to the instruction, the when you're air frying, you're supposed to put it in the middle. So it gives you an idea on where to place your racks when you're air frying. So I'm gonna put it in the middle. I need this <laughs> again. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pork belly in here. So normally we, uh, on the air fryer, we put it in, we put it in for 10 minutes at 390 degrees. And then we kind of stir it up. So instead of flipping it over, we stir it up and bake it or air fry it again for another six minutes or so depending on the size of the pork belly so this is kind of like a medium size or let me just show you the sizes so my husband's already pre-cut this and now we're going to salt it we used our redmond salt but i just went ahead and put this in here i like this casing we can put a lot more redmond salt in here after salting it then we will go ahead and put it in an air fryer. We usually put it in uh, Ninja at 390 degrees. I will put it in, in the middle and then put our grease catcher at the first level. And then here you can see I put the air frying basket at the third level. So here we go. Here comes the nothing. And then we have the air fry knob. So we you'll see that there is a, a little line so that was that is the arrow and we'll go ahead and air fry at 400 degree fahrenheit in for 10 minutes We're, we don't have to uh flip it so let's see and put it in for since i did not preheat it i will put it in at 18 minutes this here's go to nothing it came with a light also, so you can see how it's cooking. That's pretty interesting. And by the way, I moved the knob at 425 degrees because I just read that air frying food has to be set at 425 degrees. 
and it has to be flipped when halfway or if you're almost maybe done I don't know so we're gonna try to open it and kind of mix it together just like I used to do we will do the same thing here on the caloric air fryer there are moist that are being built up at the bottom it's mentioned on the instruction that that is normal so don't panic seems to be that it's halfway done of course the cooking is not done yet but like I said earlier I will go ahead and try to mix in mix it up to make sure that it is evenly cooked so I'll go ahead and open it uh, don't be scared the cooking will stop then you can mix it in so I have my ready uh, gloves right here make sure that Anyway, I pulled the baking pan first to make sure that the grease is not going to be on my counter. I'm just separating it because it's kind of like sticking together. So let me pull that out some more to make sure the cooking time is probably going to be longer this time. Now let's put it back or let's close this and see immediately as soon as you close the door, it immediately start cooking. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the knob again at 10 minutes and it's at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. But I forgot to tell you guys, when I prime it, I call it priming, but you have to turn on, I think I put it in a baking uh, dial or bake dial and turn it on at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. It kind of make the kitchen smell like burnt. I suggest that whenever you do it, when you prime it, is to open up your window or do it outside. That way your kitchen won't smell like there's electrical burning inside the house. <laughs> That's just a recommendation. It is looking good guys. I can't wait. I wanted to try this and air fry that next time, but I am grilling it this time. But I will show you um, another vlog how this turned out if we use the caloric air fryer. So what happened is I put my air fryer at 400 degrees at uh, I believe 10 minutes and I, halfway I found out that it's 425 degrees to air fry it and I did not preheat the air fryer so I cooked it or baked it at or air fry it at 18 minutes. So you, you heard the bell or the ring, so let's go ahead and check it. Let's see, let's turn the light. Oh, it won't turn on the light when it's done. I will put my baking rack down below and then we will put this on it. That way it's gonna be hot. But look at this guys, it is cooked perfectly. All right, put it out here. Of course, we want it um, in a carnivore diet. We want it soaking with fat. So I put the baking air frying rack on top of the baking pan. So let's go ahead and taste it. Okay, guys, let's do the taste test. And I will get this one little piece and see how it tastes like. Uh, it's dark. Let's do it this way. My dog has been barking. Ah. It is perfect. I think you should get it. <laughs> I uh, I love I love how the pork belly came turned out to. For our first use, I recommend that I think you should get it. And what I like about it is you can see, you know, the door is pretty clear and wide that you can see the food that is being cooked inside. Unlike the Ninja, sorry guys, I mean, you know, you've been helpful, but unlike the Ninja, um, the space is not as big, you can't see your food that's being cooked compared to white clear glass on the caloric. Uh, and I believe they have different sizes, but the one on BJ's, and this is $90. This is 26 quart, and I think it's a pretty good size for 
two people, me and my husband, I think we'll use this as many times as we need to. Thank you for watching. I will be reviewing and cooking more on this caloric air fryer. I hope that you'll find it interesting. So if you like this kind of video, make sure you hit that subscribe or like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to notify you of new or upcoming video that we will have. Thank you again for watching and we will see you again on our next video. Bye.